Hi everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. I feel like <laughs> this is both my daughters are sat and they were looking at us and laughing <coughs> because they think it's funny that I'm doing a voiceover. How nice. So, first of all, I just want to apologise for how shaky certain parts of the video are. I'm still trying to just get the new clamp that I've got in the right position so that it's not as shaky. Um, it's not all like this, just certain parts of the certain way. Um, so I'm going in there with my ethyl cuticle pusher, which is from Navy Pro Tools. It is by far the best cuticle pusher I have ever used. As you can see there, it gets all of that dead skin and like dead um, extra growth off the nail plate. It just lifts it off so effortlessly. It is brilliant. Um, and what I'm doing here, I mean, this is sped up, so it probably looks harsher than what it is, but I promise it's not. I've got my e-file on the lowest speed, and I'm using, um, it's like a skittle carbide dip, just round that cuticle, just to exfoliate it, making sure there's no skin <coughs> left on those edges at all. You've got to make sure you get all that off, because if you leave any bits on there, when you go to apply your acrylic, that's where you will get lifting, and you'll find that your nails won't last as long. So after I've used that cuticle bit, I use my sanding band, um, and again I know it looks harsh but I promise it isn't, it, it's still on the lowest speed possible on my e-file which is speed 1, and I'm just whizzing over the nail, basically removing any shine and just like basically double checking that I've got nothing left on that nail plate. So I'm just whipping around and it, it, it preps the nail. Um, the nail as well ready for your dehydrator and primer to go on and the enhancement so just do that on both hands I just thought on this video I'd show you a bit more prep um, because the last few I've just jumped straight into acrylic application um, so I thought I'd just leave this in and also as well just a heads up if you see any type of staining on the nails or anything like that it is because my client charlie is a hairdresser and she's a naughty girl and doesn't wear gloves so if you see anything like that that's why So now I'm just going round with a 180 grit hand file and I'm just neatening up that free edge and taking any extra length off that doesn't need to be there because um, I am going to be using tips on this set and it'll be the tips I always use which are the Glitter Planet tips. Um, I always find that the nails grow better underneath the tips when you actually neaten them up prior to application. Um, so I'm just doing that there on both hands. So after I've filed the free edge I apply my tips and I file them into shape and we've gone for a tapered square um, which is what 
everybody always seems to want and here you just see me applying my Neo Dehydrator and my Neo Acid Primer so I'm just fast forwarding through this bit pretty straightforward step now what I'm doing a clear layer of acrylic using Neo's Crystal Clear and I'm using high speed monomer I think for this set I'm just doing the same as I do on every other set I always apply a clear base one to protect the nail plate and two it's something to file back to if the client comes back for a redesign if that's what they want So now I'm going in with the colour and I'm using the shade Elephant from CJP. I think this is the first time I actually used this, which was on this set. And it's so easy to use. It literally, you put it down, it stays where you want it to. It doesn't flood the cuticles. It's just absolutely amazing. And same as always, I'm just using this as a colour. Um, and then I will cap in clear. So... This nail is a, a full nail of elephant and then I do the ring finger a full nail of elephant but then we do chrome on the top of that. Um, I think the ring finger is full elephant and then the pointer finger is full glitter. Thumb is elephant with a glitter fade. As well what I always do is especially when I'm using glitters I always do like my normal solid colours first and if I'm using glitters I try to use them last so then it's not contaminating my brush and it's not contaminating the monomer so that's why I do both hands in all the colours then I'll go back and do all the glitter.
so the glitter I'm using here um, I'm not sure who it's by but I will have a look and I'll put it in the description box but it's a it's a fine holographic glitter so I put that down first covered the whole nail with that and then I went in with a slightly bigger cut glitter only slightly um, which was just more of like a not quite gunmetal but not your normal silver it's slightly darker so whatever that color is so just to give a bit of dimension to the nail I just add that there too but I do this on this hand switch to the other hand do the holographic on that one then come back and you'll see me applying the other glitter I need to try and finish this voiceover soon before my Mac dies. Um, so on this thumb I am doing a glitter fade just again with those same glitters I used on the pointer finger. We are just feathering that down doing a nice little fade. So once we finish with the actual design or colour or whatever you want to call it, because this is just a really simple set, um, I'm just going in and capping all the nails as always with my Nail Crystal Clear. And again, I'm using my Nail Mate. You've got this size 10 brush. I think I'm going to have to change it up soon. I do have a CJP Gemma Porch brush, but I haven't actually given that a go. I have prepped it. So it is ready to go, but I just haven't got round to it. But I think I'm going to try it on myself first because I'm desperate for a set of nails and I haven't had any on since New Year and it's an absolute joke. So once they're all capped, I just go in with my A file um, and I'm using a carbide safety bit. I know it looks like a flat top bit, but it, it does have like a, a thin um, like 
smooth top if that makes sense um yeah so i'm just showing you a little bit of this i just whiz around the side walls cuticle area making sure it's all nice and flush whiz over the top um yeah just to mainly to debulk not that there's a lot of debulking so it's to be honest it's, it's mainly just for, for around that cuticle making sure it's all nice and smooth and then once i've used my a file i always always go over with a hand file um on the 180 grit side just to make sure it's totally smooth and there's no little divots or dents anywhere or you know bits that shouldn't be there basically I, it just I, I never used to do that i always used to use my a file then i used to go in with a buffer and then I changed it up and used a hand file after the e-file and my work just looked so much better. So much smoother and when I was going in with gel polishes on top and things like that, the application, what a massive difference it made. So if you don't do that, I would maybe suggest trying that and just give it a go and, and, and see if you feel like there's a difference in your work. And I nearly forgot to film this part. I started doing it. I've applied CJP Tack Free Top Gloss, which is obviously the no white one, um, to the ring fingers. And I'm applying a chrome pigment. And I couldn't tell you where it's from. I've had it literally about two and a half years and I haven't got a clue where it's from. I'm just using a silicon tool to just rub that in, make it all nice and shiny. And then once I've done that, I just use a melt blown wipe and I just go over that just to get it all nice and smooth so there's no like bits of pigment stuck on the top before top coating it and i just go in again with that same top coat i do double top coat this nail but i'm for this i'm using the cjp tack free top gloss again on that nail always put it in a cure for 60 seconds now i'm doing all the rest of the nails and i'm using my nail mate super gloss as always and i will go over that chrome one as well so I just get all those nails top coated. And once everything is top coated, I go in with my NAF stuff cuticle oil and today we are using peach. Oh, it smells amazing and all my clients always say that they can smell it on their hands for hours after, even after they've washed their hands. It is that good. So yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I am trying to remember to keep filming and getting them edited when I've got time. So yeah. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment if you've got any video suggestions or anything like that. And thanks again. Bye.